Hello, I'm Robin Mitchell and this is Maker.io. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the... Uh... Today, we're going to learn how to use the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express with NeoPixels. So just like with the micro bit, the first thing you need to do is to get yourself to make code using the link that you should see right here and then open a new project. The first step will be to create a NeoPixel object. Then you'll need to add two other blocks, one of them configuring the RGB mode and the other one to configure the brightness. Now the reason why I use a very low brightness on NeoPixels is because they are very, very bright, which is really good if you want to light a whole room up with them. But if you're experimenting or your eyesight's not that great at handling bright lights, they can be rather painful at, uh, at their maximum brightness. I always like to turn them down to about a brightness of 15. Uh, I think that's out of 255. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I have them on almost basically the lowest brightness. That's how bright they really are. The next block you then need to put into your program will be a forever block. And then inside the forever block, you'll then need to put in an animation block for the NeoPixel so you can make it do things like rainbows and stuff. So that's the program done, but then you'll need to connect the uh, actual NeoPixels to the Circuit Playground Express. So to connect the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express to the NeoPixel ring, you basically need three wires. One to provide power, one to provide a common ground, and then the other to control the NeoPixel. So on the Circuit Playground Express, we use uh, 3.3 volts to power the NeoPixel ring. We use ground to ground the two together. And then we use A1, which then connects to D6 on the ring. Now, you will have to look at your NeoPixel module to find out what the input is, and it's not very obvious. Uh, so on the back of your NeoPixel module, you should see something that may say something like uh, 24 by WS2812 ring uses D6, which means it uses D6 as the input for the uh, control. So all you need to do now is to download your program from MakeCode, which is done by clicking the big old pink download button. Then you'll plug the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express into your USB. Then you configure it to be a flash drive by pressing the uh, reset button, which is one of these. I can't remember which one it is, but it is one of them. Oh, it's right in the middle there. And then once all the lights go green, then you can go ahead and drop your file in and then it should automatically program itself and your NeoPixel ring should do whatever it is you wanted it to do. So that's all there is to using a NeoPixel ring with an Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. Thank you for watching and see you next time.